हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट विथ किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा द टर्म प्रोटेस्टा वॉज कॉइन बाय अर्नेस्ट हैकल एंड ऑल द यूनी सेलुलर यू कैरी ऑट्स रिमेंबर ऑल यूनी सेलुलर यू कैरी ऑट्स irrespective of their mode of nutrition were included in kingdom protesta by by whatever this kingdom protesta it actually forms a link between kingdom monera bacteria and between the three kingdoms plantia fungi and animalia is a link between bacteria and the three kingdoms they are considered as ancestors of all multicellular eukaryotes i will like to begin the lecture with their journal characters they are unicellular eukaryotic organisms some are colonial without much cellular differentiation and organization of tissue level is absent so mainly they are unicellular mostly they are aquatic cell structure is typically eukaryotic means they have nucleus and other membrane bound cell organelles the ribosomes are ats flagella and cilia they have 9 plus 2 pattern of microtubule organization two tubules are present in the center and they are surrounded by nine other tubules movement in them is by pseudopodia that is false feet flagella or cilia mode of nutrition can be photosynthetic or saprophytic or parasitic some of the protista they have mixotropic kind of nutrition that means they have photosynthetic mode of nutrition as well as they act as saprophytes example is euglenia reproduction occurs by asexual and sexual means these are decomposers photosynthetic or parasites parasitic protista they may cause disease like dysentery malaria and sleeping sickness class protista it is having three subtypes either they are autotrophic or photosynthetic organisms example is dinoflagellates diatoms and euglenoids they are also consumers and decomposer organisms example is cellular slime molds and the third one is protozoans like zooflagellates ciliates etc in your syllabus there is written like cellular slime molds you have to cover it so i will continue with the cellular slime molds slime molds are consumer decomposers protista in two kingdom classification system they were included in class myxomycetes of fungi but in five kingdom classification system they were included in kingdom protista now they are journal characters they are usually free living creeping over debris debris that means like fallen leaves or rotten logs of wood second character they have naked protoplast 
it is not covered by a cell wall okay cell wall is very important in your syllabus so remind it that mycoplasma don't have cell wall they lack chlorophyll and have saprophobic or phagotropic mode of nutrition in their life cycle when slime molds are amoeboid they are they are non cellulosic but when spores stage comes their cell wall becomes cellulosic amoeboid plasmodial stage it resembles protozoa and spore forming nature is like fungi spores are extremely resistant and they survive for years under extreme kind of conditions reproduction is both by asexual and sexual method this group is further divided into acellular and cellular plasmodia plasmodia it is a cellular type of slime mold and communal slime molds they are of cellular slime molds thank you for listening my lecture in case you have missed any of them you can visit my website www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can listen the lectures over there and also you can download the lectures thank you